Hi, it's Sandra, and today I want to show you a my last Christmas manicure. I'm crying about that, but the good news is Christmas is around the corner. So we're almost through summer, which is not my favorite season, and we're headed to um, Halloween and then Christmas. Yay! So anyway, I wanted to show you this um, last manicure with the Christmas theme, and it is using this plate. I'm going to try to get a little better picture here. There it is. And it is using What's Up Nails Plate B022. There it is. And I am actually using this nail stamp and the little reindeer one. So I've already done my right hand and I wanted to let you know the polishes I used. And I will put a link to the bottom of the polishes, the stamping polishes that I used. But I actually did um, my full nail with uh, Maniology stamping polish. And the, the red is Shaka Santa. And the green is, um, where is the green? The green is Grinchmas. So those are the two that I used for this one and this one. And then I used um, some colors other Maniology stamping polish and some other colors um, including um, a sinful sinful shine sinful colors and a couple other Maniology polishes stamping polish but I'll show you that I'll put that in the link so um, what I did was I actually did my reverse stamping first that's all done and as you can see I painted my nails one of the things I did was I used for this natural look I used this which is Sally Hansen extreme wear and this is called glitter glam and it's a clear polish with these iridescent iridescent um, flakes in it so that's what I used on my ring finger and my middle finger so I've done my little Rudolph and when I did the Rudolph what I did was what I like to do with him is I take him off the plate and I actually and I use this big one right here and I take off his nose and his mouth and I don't like his mouth on there for some reason. I just like the nose. So I take off the nose and the mouth and then I re-stamp when I get it on my nail with just red polish for his nose. So that's how I got this look. So let's go ahead. Um, this is the reverse stamp that I did for the garland that's on my nails. So all I did was give myself two coats of polish with the um, stamping polish by Maniology two coats of the Sally Hansen and then I'm going to stamp my stuff. So I am going to have to use a sticky base coat or something on top of my nails because it's been a long time. They are all dried out. So I'm actually going to use this um, Orly Bonder. I don't know if I've ever used this on camera or not before but this is a great um, sticky polish that will put your um, reversed uh, stamping on your nail nicely. So I'm going to put that on and you always want to do, you know, just a very light coat because the more you put on there, the longer you have to wait. So put this on. Okay. And then I'm going to take out my uh, plate and I need to get the little green tree branches on here, which is this image right here. So I didn't use the um, Grinchmas with that because I wanted it to be darker. So for that color, I'm using Lily Pad, which is B191, and that is a Maniology plate. So I'm going to stamp that. And I love this plate. I think I said on the last Christmas video that I did that I really like this plate. It is. It's a really nice plate. So if you don't have it, you should get it if you're into Christmas. Okay, so there we go. And you can see it's so cute. It has all the little greens there and, you know, so you can put something in the middle. And then I'm going to stamp this on. Try to get it as much in the middle with getting the branches. My nails are really short now. So, um, it's a little harder to work with, at least for me, when they're this short. They keep breaking for some reason. Okay, so there's my little tree branches. 
Then I'm going to take um, my Rudolph and I'm going to center him, hopefully, in between the branches. And there he is. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this stamper, or the stamping plate, and I'm going to get the little nose off of this Rudolph in the center. So I'm gonna use my little stamper. And um, the color I used for his nose is the um, Sanka Santa. So I'm just gonna put some red on there. I'm going to scrape it this way and get that off. And there it is. Then I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to take off all the stuff pieces around it. And remember, I just want the nose, so I'm going to take all this stuff off, and hopefully I'm left with the nose. Now, I was trying to, when I first got the little reindeer off of there, to do my reverse stamping, I must have had to do it like eight times, because every time I went in to take off the excess, including the nose and the mouth, I would wipe out half the, the image. So it was like, I must have, I'm telling you, I must have done it like eight times. The, I did one, no problem. Did the first one, had no problems. Tried to get the second one, and I just kept messing it up and messing it up. So, I mean, we'll see how this goes. So on this one, it's got a little um, hollow spot in the middle. And I'm just going to reverse paint that so that it is a solid red. So as soon as I get this off, yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna put a dab of the Sinka Santa on here. And looks like I got some other clear spots on this, so I'm just gonna Take a little bit, a dab, and I really like the Sanka Santa color, red. It's really pretty. It's uh, sparkly, so, and it's and it's a deep red. It's not as solid as some of Maniology's other reds, but I think it's really pretty, especially for Christmas. My favorite red by Maniology used to be. Um, Evil Eye, I think it was, the red one. The collection that they have of the green, the red, and the blue. The only thing was, is every time I would put even the no smear top coat on, it still would smear. It's a very, it smears a lot. So I don't know what's in it that makes it smear, but I seem to have lots of problems with it smearing. Okay, so here's that. Now I'm going to do my middle finger. And I'm going to put the little garland down there. Mm, I, th I can only get like two rows of garland on my nail, so. There we go. And that one's done. So no messing around with that one. Then I had two little garlands left. So I think the little garland is, is really cute, too. So all I did was reverse paint that. I did the bulbs red, obviously, and the snowflakes white. And I'm going to tell you, my favorite red, and this I use for Halloween too when I do reverse painting, is by Sinful Colors. And this one is called Poison Apple 2649. And it even looks good, like I did um, a Jack Skellington nails, and I used this for Sally's hair. And it just, because it's, there's so much glitter in it, you can really see it. And it's a lighter red. It's not a deep, deep red. Okay, so let's see if my little nose here is dry enough. Put my nose on Rudolph. Okay. 
Ja. There he goes. So there's Rudolph, and then I'm going to clean up. I hope all of you had fun with Christmas in July. I hope you took the opportunity to do some Christmas nail nails because they are fun to do. And um, I, ca I cannot say that when um, Christmas comes to an end that I'm actually sick of doing Christmas nails because I've got so many plates and there's, I mean, so many cute ones. And I just think it's a cheerful time of year. I love to do them. And then after Christmas, of course, when you don't feel comfortable doing those anymore, the winter nails, winter nails are cool too with the snow and snowmen and all that. So, um, I live in an area where it does get snow and it does get cold. So it's, I really like the change of season. So it's fun to do the different, um, manicures depending on the season or, um, holiday that comes up. So there, those are, and then I'm going to take my smudge free top coat put that on and then I'll wait a few minutes and I'll put my um, Thick top coat on, which is, as I say every time I'm on camera, Glisten and Glow. Love their top coat. It's nice and thick. It dries right away, and it gives you a really good shine. I think it's just as shiny as the um, gel polish top coats. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you take advantage of this last week before um, August. And thanks for watching.